Well, friends, we just learned that Special Counsel Jack Smith obtained a search warrant for Donald Trump's Twitter account. Why might prosecutors be interested in Trump's Twitter account? Two words, evidentiary gold. Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, ever since Jack Smith was appointed special counsel back in November to investigate the crimes of Donald Trump, he has been hard at work issuing subpoenas. And based on some new reporting, we just learned that among the subpoenas he issued was one for Donald Trump's Twitter account. And based on Donald Trump's recent post, it looks like this one made Donald Trump's head explode. Let's start with some of the new reporting. This from Politico. Headline, Special Counsel Obtained Search Warrant for Donald Trump's Twitter Account. And that article begins, Special Counsel Jack Smith obtained a search warrant for Donald Trump's Twitter account at Real Donald Trump earlier this year according to newly revealed court documents. Twitter's initial resistance to comply with the January 17 warrant resulted in a federal judge holding the company, now called X, in contempt and levying a $350,000 fine. A federal court of appeals upheld that fine last month in a sealed opinion. On Wednesday, the court unsealed a redacted version of that opinion revealing details of the secret court battle for the first time. This quote from the court opinion, quote, although Twitter ultimately complied with the warrant, the company did not fully produce the requested information until three days after a court ordered deadline, according to the 34 page opinion by a three judge panel of the DC Circuit Court of Appeals. The district court thus held Twitter in contempt and imposed a $350,000 sanction for its delay. It's unclear what Smith was seeking from Trump's account. Trump used the account actively in the run-up to the January 6, 2021 attack on the Capitol, promoting false claims of election fraud, calling his supporters to Washington to stop the steal, and mounting attacks on his rivals. Obtaining data from Twitter might have revealed patterns about Trump's use of the account, whether others had access to it, and whether there were any draft statements that were unsent. Smith obtained an indictment of Trump last week on charges related to his efforts to subvert the 2020 election. The document was replete with references to Trump's tweets, including his December 19, 2020 call for supporters to descend on Washington for a wild protest on January 6, 2021, as well as his tweet amid violence at the Capitol attacking his vice president, Mike Pence, for refusing to single-handedly upend the election. The indictment suggests Trump, not any surrogate or aide, issued the tweets. The existence of the warrant shows that prosecutors acquired access to the inner workings of what was once the most powerful megaphone in American politics and perhaps the world stage. Trump was banned from Twitter just days after January 6th, after the company found his tweets to be in violation of its terms. Elon Musk, who took over Twitter last year, restored Trump's access, but the former president has not yet tweeted from the account since his return. So friends, once this reporting became public, not surprisingly, it seems to have made Trump's head explode, as evidenced by a recent post on his third-rate social media platform, Truth Social. Here is what Donald Trump posted about the fact that his Twitter account had been subpoenaed by Jack Smith. Just found out that crooked Joe Biden's DOJ secretly attacked my Twitter account. 
making it a point not to let me know about this major hit on my civil rights. My political opponent is going crazy trying to infringe on my campaign for president. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Does the First Amendment still exist? Did deranged Jack Smith tell the unselects to destroy and delete all evidence? These are dark days in America. Okay, setting aside for the moment Donald Trump's inane post, why might Jack Smith have subpoenaed Donald Trump's Twitter account? The answer is really pretty simple. Everything that Donald Trump posts on social media, including on Twitter, is what we call a statement by a party opponent. These are admissions that can be introduced as incriminating evidence against Donald Trump at trial, but you have to lay the foundation. So Jack Smith and his team of prosecutors subpoenaed Donald Trump's Twitter account. Now this is not a violation of his civil rights because a judge ordered that a search warrant should be issued for Donald Trump's Twitter account. In order for a judge to conclude that he or she should issue a search warrant, the prosecutors and the FBI agents investigating the crimes of Donald Trump had to put together a sworn affidavit, a sworn statement of facts showing to the judge's satisfaction that there would be incriminating evidence in Donald Trump's Twitter account. Part of what we have to prove when prosecutors want to use social media posts as evidence at trial is that the defendant is the one who made the posts. You can easily envision Donald Trump trying to claim, uh, I didn't make those posts. Sure, it was my Twitter account, but you know, I had aides and assistants and flunkies and lackeys and sycophants all do all those posts for me. I didn't know what they were posting. Can't you just see him trying to throw others under the bus falsely in his attempt to persuade people that, no, 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 I didn't post all of those incriminating tweets. Well, one of the building blocks to the admissibility of social media posts like tweets is you get their social media account, you subpoena all of the information um, that is available, and you pair it, you couple it with other evidence that will help prove it was Donald Trump who actually posted those tweets. What is some of that other evidence? Well, for example, I am quite sure that Jack Smith's team also subpoenaed or perhaps got another kind of a court order, a D order, which I'm not going to get into right now, but got a judge, got lawful authority to uh, acquire, to obtain what's called Donald Trump's cell site information. What is cell site information? Well, you may know that every time you use your cell phone, in fact, every time your cell phone is turned on, it is connecting with the nearest cell site tower. Those are, those are the big ugly towers that you see everywhere that have a whole bunch of small rectangular boxes um, atop those towers. Those are cell sites. And thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of cell phones are connecting with those cell towers constantly. And the information that that generates, the cell site information, can tell people a lot, can tell the authorities a lot about precisely where a cell phone is at any given moment in time. Now, it's not like GPS where it can exactly pinpoint where a cell phone is when it's on or when a phone call is being placed or when a text message is being sent or when a post is being made on Twitter, but it can narrow it down. So for example, I'm quite sure Jack Smith got all the cell site information for Donald Trump's phone when he was tweeting and he will be able to show, for example, that tweets were sent from Donald Trump's cell phone 
when that cell phone was located essentially at the White House. So, if tweets are being posted at midnight and two in the morning and four in the morning when Donald Trump's aides and assistants and lackeys and flunkies and sycophants are not at the White House, well, they're going to be able to prove inferentially, they're going to be able to persuade a jury based on all the evidence from his Twitter account and from his cell site information that it was Donald Trump making those posts, nobody else. Therefore, the statements, the tweets, the posts are statements of a party opponent. In a very real sense, they can be admissions, they can be crimes, they can be evidence of consciousness of guilt, all depending on the substance of the post or the tweet. So that's why Jack Smith subpoenaed Donald Trump's Twitter account information, and I'm quite sure he subpoenaed Donald Trump's cell site information. He is building a criminal case, brick by brick, piece of incriminating evidence after piece of incriminating evidence. And at the end of the day, Donald Trump will have nowhere to turn. He will have no compelling defense, no persuasive defense to his crimes. And based on the case Jack Smith and his team of federal prosecutors are building, Donald Trump will, will be held accountable for his crimes. Because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.